Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Dalise, but you might know me as Tamper Girl. The month of June and July, I am so excited to say that I am guest designing for Crafting Kimmy. And they are having this beautiful release. And I am working with the super cute set called Floral Fun. It has three different sorry, four different flowers. It has the daffodils, it has tulips, it has irises, and it has the lily of the valley, which is the one that I'm coloring here. And I am using my Caran d'Ache Supra Soft Color 2. Um, I'm actually just using, I have both of the grays down out here, but I'm only using the light gray. And I'm just scribbling a little bit in the middle because that is just gonna create the shade or the shadow it because the lily of the valleys are white and white flowers are pretty difficult to color um, especially with watercolors so what I'm creating is just shadows to make it look like it's the little um, the little shape of um, the little bells that the lily of the valley flowers actually end up looking um, that little scribble at the top is a little bit of my pencil, my Savila Oil pencil, and that's what I'm going to use to make my darker shadows on the sides of the bell of the lily of the of the valley. And here I am coming with just a tiny little brush, and like you can see, I'm just doing the both sides so my flower kind of looks rounded, that bell shape like I was talking about. And I am working on this for all of my sprigs of lily of the valley and i cut out i stamped six i will cut out all six and you'll see what my idea behind all these six sprigs are i am thinking of a nice bouquet you know in one of those paper um that they put it in they wrap it with string that is my idea behind this card so you'll see me i'm um, working on the darker shadows and then I'll bring my lighter gray with the pencil then you'll see me I'm gonna actually come with some um it's supposed to be white glimmery shimmery watercolor but I did not take into consideration that I have the gray underneath so my lily of the valleys kind of look a little bit silvery in that a little bit of the divot um, but I still love them. I am bringing two different greens, even though I have three, all three here, the light green, medium green, and dark green. I end up using the light green and the dark green. I really need to find a different green. This one is a little too yellowish. The other one, the darker green, is a little bit too bluish. And I, I feel like I am with the three bears. This one is too little, this is just too much. So I need to find a happy middle for my green. So I need to go shopping. And I am just literally just doing highlights and then bringing my paintbrush. Then I will mix the two colors in. So you see me adding the darker here. So I'm having, I'm adding, I'm actually doing the blending when I go in with my brush and water, okay? And you'll see me bring probably soon on the green, the lighter green back in because when I start mixing it, I notice that it's too dark and I want a little bit more brightness. So I bring the lighter green again and that is why I'm doing it. You see, it's just a little too blue for my taste. Here I am bringing this one. I just forgot to color it at all. And you'll see me that I keep going back and forth with my greens until I am happy with the color that I am achieving, which is totally and absolutely fine. Here's what I'm coming back with my greens thinking. That bluish green and the dark green is just too much. But that's a beautiful thing about these watercolor, this Caran uh, pencils. They just mix beautifully. I'm going to put almost done with this coloring here and then I will bring my light pearl watercolor shimmering. I love these. Um, they were a gift by my sister and I 
I use them for splattering all the time. Um, the other thing that I also, um, here I am with my pearlescent watercolor, and I seriously in love with this set. Thank you so much, sis. And I'm going to just add a little bit of shimmer in the middle. And again, this is going to turn a little bit more silver than pearlescent because of the green underneath and how well the pigmentation of these, um, both of these pencils are. So they're actually mixing with the layers underneath it. And when I notice this, I'm like, oh, it's went a little bit too dark. You'll see me bring my white ink and I'm going to do highlights on all of my flowers. And suddenly I am 100% in love with this. I just can't get over how much I love it. So here is, I'm cutting my vellum. This is 1900s vellum. I believe this is Anna Griffin <laughs> vellum. And I am trying to make what is going to become my little folded holder for my flowers and I love it. I kind of wing it and I was really happy with the results. I can't believe how well it turned out. The only thing that I'm not quite happy about it is how much um, dimension it has because the vellum is so stiff at this point and you'll see me cut here and there some of the flowers so they they kind of look a little different and not like the same um, stamp image over and over and over and you'll see me do other tricks to it I for the background I'm bringing craft cardstock and then I'm bringing the breezy backgrounds and lots of love both of them stencils by crafting Kimmy and I am using like a lavender lilac uh, embossing ink and then I'm mixing it with sparkling sapphire. And unfortunately at the end of the card, you don't see it much, but when you have the card in front of you, you kind of see it uh, peeking from underneath it, what it should do. It's a good background, so I actually love it. And here is, I brought my uh, Bleed Proof Dr. P.H. Martins. And it's just like a paste. And you add, you mix it with a little bit of water and I'm just going to splatter a little bit with my paintbrushes. And it's really, I mix it really thick and it's not coming out. But I really wanted them not to be uh, translucent. I wanted it to be super opaque. And then I thought of bringing this acrylic block. And I'm using it almost like an iron. And look how flat it came out. And that made me so happy because I was like, oh, perfect. And here... I'm going to try to do it. I decide, oh, I want to do this tag with the graphite gray. And I totally mess it up. And I don't like it. And I decide, no, I'm not going to use that. I, It's just my own fault. I'm going to think of something else. So I'm bringing my gold and cream twine. I love this twine. Uh, but I didn't big box store. And I'm making slits on my little holder for the flowers just so my twine doesn't fall out because it kept slipping out so those little um slits that i made with the scissors are just perfect for that i am coming here i am gonna make a little bow i did end up you saw me on pull pull the whole thing back and start all over again and it's because i didn't leave enough of a tail and one side to actually make a bow. Duh. So here I am. Brought it back. Here is my bow using my tweezers, my uh, reverse tweezers to make the bow, which is, was, I think, a fabulous idea from my part, if I say so myself. Here is my collection of my valley, Lily of the Valley, and I am just trying to decipher how I'm going to put them together. A little bottle of the uh, white paint is just holding because I try to glue that but you'll see me that um, I actually end up moving it because it didn't glue that well and here I decide to cut around that flower so I can kind of move it like it's falling out of the beautiful um, paper holder 
and I am really loving it. But this is why I told you, notice how a lot of my background is being covered. And it's okay, because it should be a background. It should not be the focal point in here. Oh, but I love how this card is coming along. It really is so adorable. I, I love the way it did come out. Um, I didn't record the part where I added the highlights. I thought I did. And apparently there was a few pieces of this video where I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So, oh, live and learn. But I'm um, hopefully you are learning something new with making these and how to accommodate them. And look how cute this turned out. And then I decide, oh yeah, I can put my, I can stamp directly into my background this sentiment because I love the sentiment. The sentiment is adorable and I love the font that Kimmy used for it. So I'm bringing my black ink and I am trying to see, and did you see how I twisted it? Oh, I was so upset. I'm like, nope, this is not acceptable. So I did stamp it again on lilac and got a tag made out of it just nip it in the middle some bling to finish up my card and i really hope you enjoyed if you do enjoy my video please make sure that you like and subscribe to see more videos like this one and make sure that you check out this beautiful release especially this floral fun set Thank you, and remember, don't leave your crafting for tomorrow. Start today. Bye!